depends how you want to display them. If you want to display them in vehicle form or alt mode, whatever you want to call it, then you know they're actually they actually fit in well with each other on the shelf, and it's not much of a problem. But if you want to display them in robot mode, you have to try and explain why Grimlock the Voyager is smaller than Lockdown the Deluxe. And not only that, but if you take Grimlock out of the picture, if you thought that was a bad size comparison, I'll take Swindle out as well. Let's bring in Lugnut, he was a decent sized vehicle mode. And look at that. Absolutely ridiculous. Lugnut on the show was absolutely huge. And there he is, absolutely did it. Shall I tell you how bad it is? Deluxe Lockdown versus Voyager Lugnut. You think that's bad? Let's take him away. Let's bring Swindle back in. Let me just take Lugnut's power mace off of him because it's kind of blocking the view. It's fucking awesome, by the way. It's a great accessory. The only problem is it forms up most of the bulk in vehicle mode. If you take that off, it forms that and you're left with an itty bitty little shitty robot size. Actually that's unfair because his robot mode is absolutely awesome. It's a really, really good toy. But the size, I mean we already said how small Swindle was, which is probably about right for a deluxe. When you consider that Lugnut isn't even an inch bigger than him. And again you've got the same price uh, difference, 20 and 10. That really is outrageous. I mean, yeah, he's bulky and everything. I think that's where he loses a lot of his size, you know, it's the bulk rather than the height. But it kind of, it, it tests which which one you're more interested in. Do you want bulk in a Voyager, or do you want size in a Voyager? Uh, and my answer is, well, I want fucking both of them, considering I'm paying £20. I mean, like I said, I held off getting him, because I knew of the size problem that he had, that he wasn't really small for a Voyager. But for a tenner, I felt I was actually kind of getting my money's worth with him. He's, he's probably worth a, you know, well worth a ten. If you get cheaper, absolute bargain. Um, whereas I think off Play.com here in the UK, lockdown was like six ninety nine. So I've absolutely stolen it. Do you know what I mean? I've got a Voyager size figure for, you know, what is essentially thirteen pounds less than I could have bought a Voyager price figure, even though it's only deluxe. It just doesn't seem to work out. Um, bring in Grimlock and put him next to. Oops. And you've got again, Grimlock's bigger than Lugnut, but it's not friggin' hard, is it, to be bigger than Lugnut? Uh, what I will do, perhaps in the next video, is bring it in and I'll make a Bumblebee. Because he's another one for a deluxe, he's actually bigger than he should be. Um, and he kind of does look a bit out of place on the shelf. Like I say, it depends on. We're just bringing them all. But yeah. Just take stock of all of them. The stupid thing is, there's three deluxes and two voyages in there, and it actually looks like I've got the three deluxes at the front and the two voyages at the back, just because of the size. When in fact, two of the deluxes are at the back, which is quite stupid, really. Um, I mean, I'm not. That's not all voyages, obviously. You've got kind of Skywalk. I have. Um, if we go back down to my collection, I have four more Decepticon voyages there, which are Shockwave. Blitzwing, you can see Cybertron, Bird Megatron, and Skywalk. Not Starscream, but Skywalk. Um, and there, aside from maybe Megatron, but particularly, particularly Shockwave block, Shockwave. Yeah, that's right. Uh, Blitzwing and Skywalk. They all actually do fit in well with the Voyager size. Um, particularly uh, uh, Shockwave, who is. Well, he's a really nice figure, but he suffers from the same problem as Lockdown in that he's tall with not much bulk, whereas these two are shorter with a lot more bulk. So there's kind of the the payoff there. It's it's what do you want? Do you want height and slenderness, or um, do you want them to be short with bulk? You know. So that's the uh, anyway. That's what I thought I was I was going to do because in terms of my display, you you probably noticed that they were all in vehicle mode, and that was because I don't like. Um, the dis discrepancy between the heights. If I wanted, um, if I wanted to display them in robot mode, there'd be a bit of a problem because, you know, this guy in the cartoon, Atomic Lugnaut, or just Lugnaut, is um, is massive. He's huge, and Lockdown is probably the same size as uh, Ratchet, who is like his, his lifelong mortal enemy, so to speak. Um, 
Same with Grimlock. Grimlock's in the in the show is huge, as with um, G1. So there's kind of a few discrepancies, there, and I think in this line, I think Voyager Prime, who I've got, is actually bigger than Grimlock, but I'll have to go and check that. So. Um, so there you have it, that's all I really wanted to do, was to just draw attention to the massive kind of differences in, in not just in the height between, but the price as well. I mean, these two at full retail price, Blur and Lockdown, are £10, along with Swindle, who's £10. Um, and when you're getting Blur and Lockdown at this size for £10, you kind of feel a bit cheated in buying Swindle, because he's costing you the same amount of money, and you're getting half the figure, really. Um, just hang on a second. Stop it. Stop it. Sorry, that was a cat scratching the carpet. Um, and again with Lugnut and Grimlock, you're paying £20 for those and you could feel cheated because you're actually getting again getting half the figure for double the price. Um, which is kind of worse than paying the same price and getting half the figure, you're paying more for less figure uh, in robot mode. If you're talking about vehicle mode then, I don't know, you might get away with it. Lugnut's vehicle mode is actually very, very impressive, as is Grimlock's um, in terms of size with compared to Lockdown and Blur. Um, anyway, there you have it. Just a, a quick note on what I feel is the major weakness in the animated line. Um, other than that, this is a phenomenal line, one of the best lines I've ever come across. I mean, I, I've not, I'm not a massive Transformers collector, uh, but I've had G1, I've had Classics, um, Universe 2.0 and all that. Uh, I had the first movie, I had some figures from the first movie, which I sold. I had figures from Revenge of the Fallen, and the animated line, and the animated some of my favourite figures. I absolutely love them. Um, it's just a shame that we couldn't work on all the different discrepancies. Um, but there you are. Until next time, uh, I might review some of these guys individually, you never know. Um, until next time, stay safe.